Hey, good morning, good morning. Coffee Cup Chronicles, day 72, I believe. Going on the fourth day of spring. How are you this morning? Yes, that is my Sambo's Cup. Don, what are you doing with a Sambo's Club? Cup? I used to work for Sambo's. Only worked for about three weeks, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I just moved there, needed a job. They needed a cook. Got hired. I'll tell you what, though. Tight reins. I mean, they had to have a key to get into the cage just to get extra loaves of bread. You couldn't have anything extra out anywhere. It, it was crazy. Listen, I'm, you know, everybody's going to go, oh, that's controversial. The Sambo's. And if you're old enough to remember the old Sambo's restaurant. But if you're not old enough to remember the story, I need my glasses for this. I had to write this down because I know there's going to be a lot of folks are going to talk about this. Samples was a great little restaurant. Um, it was kind of like a Shoney's. They were all over the country. So listen. So this is, um, it was named after Sam Battlestone and Newell Bonnet in 1957. It was part of their name, Sam Bose. So Sam's first name and Newell's half of his last name. And they even had a kids' club. It was called Tiger Tamers. Yeah, I know. So I had to wear my Tigger shirt, right? <laughs> Listen, you thought all of this crazy crap of canceling cartoons and everything else just got started? No, these folks started this change in this names of these places way, way, way back. I mean, this happened in the 70s going into the 80s. So, and what's funny is, the little character was never part of the restaurant chain until Sam and Newell both realized, hey, that was a book. This book was written in 1899 and published in October by a lady, a Scottish author, Helen Bannerman. And it's funny because the critics at the time said it was one of the first books of black heroes in children's literature. Does that sound familiar, folks? Something good turned to something bad because it offended somebody. Well, you know what? You get offended all day long. You get offended as a kid. You get offended as a teenager. Stop. Samples was a great little red. They had great food. They had a great menu. Like I said, it was like uh, it was like a Shoney's. What happened to Shoney's? I mean, I remember strawberry pie. Oh my gosh, I remember strawberry pie. Little Rock, Arkansas, 1977. Little Rock Air Force Base. I was the only person there that had gone to NCO leadership school that had a car. I had a 1973, like, olive green duster. So they, you know, I'm going to go to town and have coffee and dessert and stuff after the meal and something to do because, you know, there was nothing to do at the base. And I had a bunch of guys go with me. In fact, a couple, three guys and a gal. And they each pitched in a buck for gas. But you talk about a strawberry pie. It was all strawberries and whipped cream, and it was great. But getting back to Sambo's. So, I know it's, you think it's a little controversial, but again, great restaurant. You know, unfortunately, they actually finally, they filed bankruptcy in, in somewhere in the 80s, and uh, the last restaurant actually survived till well past that. In fact, they renamed it Chad's. And even that guy had to close because of the association back with Sambo's. How ridiculous. So, folks, listen. Stop. Stop this crap of changing names and going after little figures that supposedly, I mean, cartoons. So Yosemite Sam and Holding a Gun and Elmer Fudd. Come on, please. We need to stop this 
cancel culture stuff. But for that, the sun's coming up. It's going to be 70 degrees here in western New York. I ain't worried about it. I even have black coffee in my cup. Think about that one.